Good morning everyone. I hope you all are doing well. In this video we'll be looking at my OEM seat and reviewing it since it's been three months of me riding my 2020 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT. So I'll be reviewing the seat, um, sitting on it, showing you, you know, a lot of uh, riders I've seen have concerns uh, or sort of questions around how is it when sitting on the gold wing with a certain, you know, when your height is like about five, eight or six feet and where do you, you know, how's the sitting position. So we'll be, I'll be sitting on it recording my seating position as well as, you know, talking about how this OEM uh, gold wing seat has helped me uh, for three months. So let's get started. Before we start, I would like to thank all 300 plus subscribers for all your support and your questions that you pen down that may help me make my next video. So thank you for so much for all your support again and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss on you know any future upcoming videos. So let's start with my seating position on this motorcycle. I'm about five feet eight inches in height and uh, two, weighing 210 pounds at present. So I'll show you how am I, you know, when I'm sitting on it, uh, what's my sitting position. So one, this is the bike in a straight position. I'm pretty much, if I, like, if I'm in a standing position, I am, I wouldn't say I'm on my tippy toes, but like half of my foot is on the, on the, on the road. So that's where I am. If I'm sitting comfortably, which is typically how we will be, so I would say I I'm about one fourth uh, on the ground. And this is with the suspension in the standard position with one, uh, you know, just the uh, rider up. So I don't have with the rider and luggage on, which typically most of uh, the riders I've seen having that settings. My settings that I mostly use and I'm more comfortable with that is uh, just the rider up. So one rider and this is where I am. I'll also show you from the front how it looks since uh, you'll get a better angle of how both my feet are. This is the front look of me sitting just to show you how my feet sit on the ground. And now I'll show you on the side a close up so you get another view of how my feet are, you know, while sitting on the motorcycle. So this is a better and clearer view probably for most of you looking at it. Uh, this is with my both feet down and like I said one fourth of my, you know, front toe part is on the uh, road. Uh, but it's very comfortable like if I'm sitting I can easily maneuver I guess I'm used to it you can say or anything but if I have one feet up and my one feet down this is just for demonstration purposes so I'm showing you uh, my right feet down typically in the real world you'll have your left feet down fully if you have your right feet on the brake but just for demonstration to show you I'm pretty comfortable if I have one feet down one up and you know my foot is straight down very nice very good no issues at all I hope this video you know or this short demonstration of my seating position helps uh, many of you riders who have their concerns around how the sitting position is while sitting on the 2020 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT so let's just start with the review of the seat so I have been uh, sitting and riding using the OEM uh, seat for the last uh, three months since I purchased this bike. I know, so I know many of you have a sort of love and hate relationship with this OEM uh, seat 
and I don't blame you. It, I, I don't think it's it's comfortable for anyone. It's I, I feel even while touching it, it's not that padded. So that was one of my concerns too when purchasing the Goldwing that I probably will have to spend um, another 2,000 Canadian dollars to replace the seat since everyone had that concern that it's not comfortable at all. But I have absolutely loved it. I've been on 500 kilometer rides uh, where I have ridden it non-stop with just about 15 minutes of break. And to be very honest with you, I didn't have uh, any issues at all. It, it was very, very comfortable. I'll be going for another, let's say about a thousand or 1100 kilometer ride soon. And that will be a day tr long trip. So probably I'll come back, you know, and have even a better idea. But I don't think I'll have an issue. Uh, I might look into upgrading it sometime. But at least that's not what I was looking into when I purchased. Initially, my thoughts were as soon as I purchased this motorcycle, one of the expenses I need to add to the list was to add the 2000 Canadian dollars to, you know, uh, the budget, I would say, so I could go ahead and purchase this. But the seat's been pretty comfortable to my surprise. So I'm very happy with it so far. And you know, I don't think uh, I have. Yes, it, ha it has a stiffness, but I feel overall it's a very, very, very comfortable uh, seat for me. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos.